and uh, see what's going on over there. So I still be fought on the right side we see Lars Bone playing and on the left side we see Ricky Bunting, Buntings playing the Lance deck. Yeah. Um, everybody knows and everybody knows Lance. Yeah. Um, Lance um, it plays just a lot of lands <laughs> um, to lock down um, the opponent. Yeah. Um, it doesn't do anything against stand. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. so um, they have like maze of it. They have version and ports. They have wastelands. Okay, you can waste some lands, but That's they have not punishing a, yeah. fires, main deck, gambles, explorations to to um, do it a little bit faster, so they can play two lands every turn. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't have any hand disruption. No anti magic cards like chalice, storms, fears. Nothing on site and cyborg they have. Normally they play some um, three chalice. I see uh, here uh, in sideboard uh, yeah. three chalice, th three times uh, sphere of resistance, yeah. um, and that's it. That's okay. It, yeah. So uh, normally the first game should be a really easy win for uh, yeah. at nauseum tendrils deck from uh, Lars Bone. So, but let's see what's happening. Um, they did draw their first hand, yeah. Lars. Keeps his hand, Ricky Buntings Takes has decided off. to take a mulligan and go to six yeah, cards. Taking six cards now. So let's see what we talked about in the previous round um, of the end player. Um, now they have four Totsies. Yeah. Main neck. That's what I said. Yeah, they are uh, mm -hmm. playing more Totsies than Duress. So four, four, four times Totsies, four times Duress. And they're not playing any um, Cabal Therapies no. anymore. Um, Ricky Buntings opens with Thespian Stage and uh, Mox Diamond. Yeah. Um, the idea of Lance is to create a Merc Latch token yeah. um, from the Dark Depths. Copy the Dark Depths with Thespian Stage. Then you sacrifice first the original Dark Depths yeah. yes, uh, because of the legendary rule. Yeah. And then the Thespian Stage because it has no counters on it. Uh, and then you get the 2020 Merc Latch token with yeah. flying. And you can uh, attack your opponent in one swing for lethal yeah. normally. Um, so, um, Lars Bone, his first turn was just a Misty Rainforest and past turn. Ricky Buntings um, with the Thespian Stage and Mox Diamond. Yeah. Um, I hope, okay, he's deciding which land. Uh, we see he has the Dark Depths already in hand, so sure. he has a. Could be pretty fast. Very good clock. Yeah. But Lars is a very known um, end player. Uh, mm -hmm. He plays combo, like I said last round, for years now yep. and every format actually he's playing it in in legacy he's playing it in uh, in modern as well um playing against the lens deck is like okay i can go off now yeah and um, every time i want i can't lose in the next round yep. that's impossible so from the moment the token is on the battlefield or is possible to create you have always to watch out uh, for a crop rotation yep. so we can do it end of turn and swing you um, in his own turn, but as long as you're pretty sure you can't lose, oh, and this looks very good. We already saw he has an infernal tutor in hand, he has mm -hmm. an extra land, he has lion's eye diamond in hand. If he has, if he has just a dark ritual in hand, it's game over in the next round already. Yeah, don't know he has any uh, ritual nice. spells. In his hand. So, um, Ricky Buntix, he has one glacial chasm mm -hmm. in his deck um, that prevents damage, yeah. uh, combat damage. Does it prevent? From creatures, so it doesn't do anything okay. as well uh, for a crop rotation and tendrils. There's no damage. A player it's loses to life. life. Yeah, yeah you gain to right. life, so yeah. it uh, loses life. It even wins uh, uh, through a worship. 
or something. If you have a creature, you can't go yep. uh, under one uh, yep. through damage, but with ten rolls, it loses life. So. so Lars has cast now a preordain. Yep. He's uh, scrying to. Um, we already saw he has Lion's Eye Diamond in hand. He has Infernal Tutor. He has Lotus Petal. The first one, it's yep. the masterpieces uh, uh, Lotus Petal. So I think not this turn, but next turn he can go off. Normally, mm -hmm. it should be possible. He draws a ponder from uh, the preordain. Yeah. So now again for Ricky Bunting's Rishidon port. Go. That's going to tap the underground sea. sea. Yeah. So now let's go for Ponder, three cards. Uh, I think the first one is a Cabal Ritual, not 100% sure. But that's the only spell he needs at this moment. Just one, um, one ritual mm. and he can go off in his next turn at this moment. Yeah. So now he has another land that he can fetch, then he has like... Um, Five cards in his graveyard with the face land at six. We know he has Lotus Petal, yeah. so he can go to Threshold. So the yeah. Cabal Ritual will give him five black mana next turn. He has the fetch land, he can go for another Underground Sea. He's playing only two oh. in his main deck. Waste Wasteland on the Underground Sea. Oh. So. But still, I think it's really irrelevant yeah. at this yeah. moment. So he's going to. For the island. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, he left the Cabal Ritual on top yeah. with the uh, Ponder. Now he draws the Cabal Ritual. Let's see if this is the turn that. Fetching. So he's at 17. Or maybe you just want to wait one extra turn. Is there any reason why um, Lars should go off? If, if it's any risk to take, if he has to go over at Nauseam at this moment. Is there any reason for doing that at this moment? We, we know Ricky Bontix, he has one mana uh, with the Smocks, Diamond. He has, in my eyes, zero possibilities to win in this no. next round. So, so, but Lars is going to do it. Storms won. You can follow the Storm count as well. In the bottom, you have Storm 1 now, now it's 2. And this is the Duress. Yeah, in response to Crop Rotation. Crop Rotation. In so Lars is going to fetch together just to save some time. So that the rest is going to resolve at this moment. Yeah. Now we can see Ricky's hand. Probably all land. Maybe. Okay. He's still keeping priority in response oh. of his duress to cast a Cabal Ritual. Now he has five black mana. Uh, that was in the response of the uh, trigger from the, uh, the Bajuka Bog. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. He crop rotated uh, to a uh, uh, Bajuka Bog, indeed. indeed. And he, in response on the trigger, he Cabal uh, Ritual for the threshold. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. That's the correct play uh, yeah. from Lars to do. In those little things you can see why Lars is uh, an experienced player, so he can react on the on the trigger's abilities. So
Oh, yes. So, but now he has, he has six mana left. In his graveyard, he has Duress, Infernal Tutor, Dark Petition, Lion's Eye Diamond. I think originally he wanted to go for the safe line and uh, just go to the normal yeah. way uh, yeah. across um, Past and Flames. Yep. Yeah, Past and Flames, flashback everything. Yep. Uh, he has a uh, Dark Petition, he has Infernal Tutor, he can go to enough Storm to just cast Tendrils. At this moment, um, he needs to go over at Nauseam. Yep. This is a um, start count to seven now. So let's see what happens. He's at 16 this moment. Yep. 15. Fourteen, twelve, dark ritual, lines I diamond, lines I diamond. It's already games yeah. at this moment. He, he has enough. He can just cast lines I diamond, lines I diamond, um, dark ritual, infernal tutor to keep priority, sacrifice the two lines I diamonds. Just go for tendrils of agony, yeah. cast tendrils of agony, and it's game. There's the tendrils. Okay, for one black dark ritual, three black mana and a mana pool, storm count is eight. Yeah. Line the diamonds, storm count nine, line the diamonds, storm count is ten. Now he still has to go. For Infernal Tutor, key priority, sacrifice, past and flames. Yep, Infernal Tutor, keep this. Now he's taking definitely three red and yep. uh, for the past and flames. Extra black. Yeah. And you can. Now he's going yep. to search the past and flames, flames in his deck. And then flashback the tendrils of agony. At first he has to cast a ritual because he doesn't have mana enough anymore. Then, but then it's just a dark ritual and ten rolls. Yep. That's more than enough. So um, Ricky Bunting takes everything together. Lars Bono wins the first game. Yeah, um, one to zero. That's what we expected. Yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. end matchup versus the lens match matchup, especially pre-board, it's very favorite for uh, the end deck at this yeah. moment. Um, let's see what the cyborgs could bring us. So, um, Lars Bolman has some Scented Swarm um, that's not good enough. No. Surgical Extraction um, against a Lance deck yeah. is uh, it's very good, actually. Um, but does it do anything for us? Uh, his own own gameplay against the the lens matchup. If you can uh, surgical extract the dark depths, maybe you can win some time. Mm -hmm. But it's a dead card in your hands. Not sure if I sh would bring it in. I I think the the best way is to go for your own game plan and uh, look at the cyborg Ricky bonding. Could bring in. You Could know they have sphere yeah. of resistance or torn of amethyst chalice. So. Mm -hmm. Um, just play some removal for for these cards. Playing maybe some abrupt decay, some echo and truths, chain of favors. Don't know what he has. Um, he has two hogus recalls, recalls in his uh, sideboard to yeah. bounce all the artifacts. Yeah. Um, that could be a very good one. He has two abrupt decays. That's very good. He has two echo and truths. That's as well very good. And he has two chain of favors. He has eight cards that he could bring in. Um, I I personally wouldn't bring in the surgical extraction when mm -hmm. I'm playing miracles. I would bring in the surgical extraction yeah. against land, but when I'm playing ant, I don't think it's the card to bring in um, for these matchups. Do you think eight cards is too many to uh, change your, change your deck? Yes, definitely. For the end deck now, I definitely think it, it's too many. You you want to to maintain your F like. Um, 
like 12 cantrips, you have yeah. like 12 spells that uh, uh, bring you some extra mana. Yeah. Yeah, the Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, um, Lion's Eye Diamonds, mm -hmm. uh, that card. Uh, you have the Tutors. Um, but you, you want to, to divide yeah. um, all those spells equally in your deck. Maybe now you want to cut some um, preordains. That's the worst cantrip uh, yeah. in the deck. Eh? You definitely want to keep in Brainstorm Ponder. You want to cut some preordains. Um, Maybe a Tautsies. Tautsies. Um, Tautsies, Durettes. Uh, that's the best against lands. Tautsies. There's no benefit, I think, for Tautsies above Durettes. So I would cut maybe one to two Tautsies somewhere. Mm. Um, so but I, would, I would try to keep it like for four cards yeah. or something. I think, um, I think in turn one, and uh, now uh, Lars is on the draw. Turn one, he has to play a duress to take out a sphere of resistance. I think that's the main purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So therefore, you could yeah. maybe say to 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 leave in the the thought season and the duress. Yeah. Still, I, I will take out maybe maybe one thought season, maybe two. Yeah. And and just have the 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 reactive play in yeah. that moment. Always you should watch out of course because a chalice on one, if you're boarding in chain of vapor, it's not that strong. Yeah. Um but I think here at this moment maybe abrupt decay is is very good for a chalice on two. Mm -hmm. uh, that you still can abrupt decay this one. Yeah. Um root is a is a good one at this moment and definitely Hokus Recall. Yeah. I think that are the the best plays to do um, as well. Hercules Recall bounces all artifacts as well. The Mugs Diamonds that yep. Ricky yep. has, yeah, if you can bounce them, he has no lands in hand at that moment. Yeah, then they're uh, dead as well. So yep. I think Hercules Recall is a very good uh, cyber card against the yep. uh, lands. And what can the lands player do? That's what we said before. He has three chalices. He has three three sphere of resistance, yep. and those are the six cards that will come in mm -hmm. and he has some um, cards um, to cut in his deck um, he can cut the glacial chasm mm -hmm. yeah. he can cut tabernacle do you think he keeps in mind that maybe the end player can go for the empty the warrants and keeps the tabernacle in, in in his uh, deck? Mm, I don't think so, because at this moment you know um, the, the the lens player, he has the anti-magic cards. He has yeah. the sphere, he has, he has the, the chalice. Mm -hmm. yeah, now for going to to empty the warrants, I, I think it's, it's it's hard to do. Maybe you can get like early game two to three storm, four yeah. or six tokens maybe they can start to swing but i think it's very very hard if uh, the land player has lands mugs time and cellos on one yeah it, it's very hard to to put down and a lot of uh, tokens yeah. uh, early game so okay i i would just keep my tendrils plan uh, in mind and don't go for the empty dwarves at this moment so but um, the land player has some cards to, yeah. to bring out as well. The maze of it, yeah, maze of it are very bad yeah. indeed. Um, the punishing fires yeah. uh, don't do a lot as well. No, that's about it. You need six cards, yeah. so three punishing fire. A character doesn't do a lot of it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're already, and I think both players that take a mulligan. Yeah, both players are on six cards. I see a stamp on the wrist of uh, Lars Bonner. Maybe he went to a party last night. <laughs> oh, Ricky has to mulligan to five. five cards. We saw as well the ancient tomb in a sense. He has one ancient tomb and sideboard. Uh, Ricky Buntings yes. and that he brought it in against uh, Lars Bolden as well. Yeah, just to make sure you can make two mana for turn one chalice on, yeah, the, on one. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah. yeah, 
are the or the sphere the sphere of resistance indeed yeah. that's a one card we did forget of course yeah against the deck like and you should bring it in you you have lands enough to to board out at the yeah. moment there are a lot of irrelevant lands mm. against the the ad nauseum tendrils deck yeah. a creature a deck with no creatures at all so so ricky's going to five and he's on the on the play, so yeah. Crop rotation. There's the ancient tomb again. Yeah, the left card is ancient, ancient tomb. tomb. Right, we see the crop rotation. rotation. Who is going to four? He he really. I believe he's just looking for chalice or um, yeah. sphere of resistance. He yeah. knows if I don't have any chalice or I don't have any sphere of resistance in my hand, I will lose this game. Yeah. Always, so I think it's just mulligan, mulligan again uh, very, for those cards. Yeah. Very aggressive, yeah, too. aggressive mulligan for yeah. uh, just for, for finding those yeah. cards. Yeah. Lars did keep his six cards. We can see a cantrip in his hand, ponder preordain, preordain, I believe. Yeah. He has passed in flames. We see some ritual spell. Uh, I think it's a cable ritual. We see a land. But you have a land you can ponder, you can uh, yeah. you have some outs to, Did you to see, build up your hand. Yeah. Uh, did you see if uh, Lars kept his scry on the on top or did he scry to the bottom? Uh, normally he didn't scry at this moment. You're only allowed to scry if both players Oh you already did his scry. Oh yeah? yeah? Okay, normally I thought you do you would do that two together. Yeah. yeah. I saw when uh, Ricky Mulligan to six that he uh, to five that Lars already scribed, but I didn't see if he put it on the bottom. So what does Ricky has an end? He has a gamble. Tiger. Okay. Yeah. The left one is a Thespian stage, and then the green card is a crop rotation. Rota yeah, I think it's an exploration. Not sure. Yeah, we'll see. Or maybe something completely else. Yeah. Yeah, he can gamble to a chalice or a sphere. So yeah, I think that's uh, the main reason why he kept this hand. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. And you, and you're on four cards. Yeah. So I think that's another reason yeah. to keep your hand if you have two lands and a gamble in mm -hmm. hand. And so Richard Porty oh. can stall some yeah. turns. Oh, last bonus only a swamp. Ah. He hasn't. He didn't found any other land. It wasn't even a fetch land, so. But we can see he has dark ritual. He has cable ritual on hand. Okay, now he finds found yeah. a good land. We can search for an island. Uh, now he can play as preordain or ponder. I'm not sure what he had on hand. Mm. Um, if uh, Ricky Bunting, Buntings wants to um, tap the island in his upkeep, he can tap it for one blue, can cast a brainstorm so he doesn't lose any land that yeah. turn and maybe already go off in the next turn. We, we know he has two rituals in hand so yeah. he can um, produce Great. mana uh, yeah. enough to go off um, and after two cantrips it could be that he created the sand. Yeah. Perfectly. Um, he has an Echo and Truth in hand as well. He find, founds another Echo and Truth. Not sure what the So he brought both in. He did board both uh, Echo and Truths in. Mm -hmm. One on top and one on the bottom. And there's a draw. Okay, he finds, founds uh, Lines Light Eye Diamond. Plays the lines I diamond. Yeah, he had uh, eight cards on hand, I believe, yeah. at that moment. Oh, the green card was a choke. <coughs> choke. Oh, he has two of them in the side. Oh, he had two of them. Yeah, that we missed. Uh, <laughs> missed as well. In the list.
So with no real big problem for Lars Bohr, uh, he can go and fetch Furland. We know he has um, Echo and Root in hand, mm -hmm. so he can even bounce it um, at the end of the turn. I think I saw uh, Tabernacle in the hand of... Yeah, yeah. indeed. So Ricky was uh, still afraid for um, empty, empty the warrants. Yeah. Yeah. So but what will Lars do with this underground scene yeah. now? Will he play a can grip? I wouldn't at this moment. Yeah. Oh, it is not the... the it, it was the chain of vapor he had on yeah. hand. Oh, and he wants to go up at this moment. Oh. He's bouncing his own Lion's Eye Diamond. No, bouncing his... Yeah. yeah. Then he sacrifices a land and bounces the choke. We're at star 2 at two. this moment yeah. for the uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay, you found the Infernal Tutor. I believe that was a okay. new card. Okay. Now yeah. we can cast yeah. um, Ritual. So, yeah. so, three mana. Storm is at three now. So he's one card short in his graveyard for the threshold. Yeah. But that's no problem at this moment. He has some easy lines at this moment, I believe. So, again, three mana. That's Storm at four. Yes, now we can cast this Infernal Tutor, keep priority, sacrifice Lion's Eye Diamond. He has to uh, put past in flames, but now you just can go for... Uh, Uh, another Lion's Eye Diamond would be good enough at this moment. And he has five black. Now we can go for another Lion's Eye Diamond. Sack it for red. For sack it for red. Cast Past in Flames. And then go off through your graveyard. He has uh, more than enough at this moment. Oh, he goes over at Nazi. Okay. If you play Lion's Eye Diamond, it's six. Then you have Past in Flames, that's seven. Ritual is eight. The other Ritual is nine. Then you have... Infernal Tutor, that's 10. You search for tendrils, that's for 11. So I'm not 100% sure, but I would have gone for a light I diamond at this moment. Because if he cast this for 5 mana, he's... He's at 0 yeah. mana. Then he needs to find fight. Lotus Petals and other stuff to win. Yeah. Let's see. Not sure. You're the expert. M maybe yeah. I, I missed something, yeah. but I think it would be... 14? 12? So he did bring in the Hercus Recalls as yeah. well, as I said. So 6, 7, 8, 9. He needs to find one spell that he can cast. Okay, it's over. Yeah. It's over. Final tutor. Yeah. Yes, but he has uh, Storm 6, Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal is 8, eight. Ritual is 9, yeah. then rolls for 10. So it's 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 more than enough. Yeah. So Lars Bolne will take this down. He's pointing at the cards we, we did say. So Petal, Petal. Yeah, Ritual, then rolls. Yeah. There you have Seven. it. Seven. Petal, Petal, Sack it, Ritual, so. pre black, Sack the other one for black. It's nine. And ten rolls. Ten tendrils. Ten tendrils. Alright, so um, Lars Bono did take it down again, so it's two to zero yeah. for. Um, for Lars Bono against uh, Ricky Bundings. Um, yeah. 
I expected it yeah, a little it's a bit. It's a pretty good matchup it's for It's a good matchup match for, for, for Ant against uh, Lance. Uh, last round you were talking about Ant, it's <laughs> yeah. not so good anymore. Yeah. Uh, Ant and Tess, uh, both uh, the Storm Legs are not so good anymore yeah. in the meta at this moment. Um, Lars Bome has proven us wrong, yeah, actually. He's 3-0. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, uh, he's 3 at this moment. Yeah. Um, he has a fair chance to go in top 8. If you win the next round, we are at 50. Players That's today, so we're playing six, six round rounds um, and uh, then top eight. Yeah. So if he wins the next round, maybe we'll see him back in, in the, uh, top, the, eight. In the top eight of yeah. our 